what up yo what up what, 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 what. um today i'll be showing you all what i picked up from sprouts um yeah so let's just get into it um i picked up a little bit of not everything i'm not gonna say everything but a few little odds and ends um today is monday so i like to go to the store at least two or three times a week depending on what i feel like i may need um or what i feel like we missing to be honest because i always feel like we missing something and i always want to try something but um yeah i'm gonna just show y'all a little bit of what we got so first we have some trumpet mushrooms and i recently picked up some what did i pick up some risotto the risotto is basically um made out of vegetables so i'm thinking about pairing that with some scallops valets and we'll see i don't know i don't really know we'll see what it's hitting for when that idea comes when i figure it out i'll be all over the place here we have some sour cream not that i'll be all over the place but my ideas be everywhere <laughs> We have some Miyoko's. When I seen this, I'm like, we gotta pick it up this time. Last time I didn't. And I'm just like, I kind of regretted it in a sense. And we love making pizza. So I'm like, why not pick this up real quick? Use a little bit of that. And yeah, and the, the ingredients are pretty clean. She forgot to use my coupon, but that's cool. Cause I definitely didn't remind her. Um, so I'm gonna take that off, put it in my handy dandy drawer with my little coupons and such inside of it. Um, so basically, when I was in the store, mind you, it's October. It's October what? Third, October third. So I'm kind of in like the mood of like not Halloween, cause not Halloween, but autumn fall but i seen this and to be honest i didn't even check to see that it was dairy free i just seen it and i kind of liked how it looked <laughs> and i seen that it was like pumpkin pie so i'm like let's try it mind you i was hungry it's really not good to go to the store when you're hungry but here it is some pumpkin pie i picked up two of those for the both of us um Pumpkin pie again. We have some immaculate, immaculate organic pumpkin, immaculate. pumpkin spice. Listen, y'all get it, immaculate. <laughs> um, and as far as when I read the ingredients, they were cool. Um, yeah, everything was cool. I know they have another, um, like the plain kind is vegan as well. Um, so I picked up some Tulsi. Um, lemon and ginger and this is it says um, Tulsi revered in India as the queen herbs Tulsi holy basil is an adaptogenic herb that has been used for more than 5,000 years to aid in stress relief and uplift moods support the immune system support the natural detoxification process so like kind of like anything that's like herbs or like natural I literally pick up um, and I just wanted a different kind of tea. We have green tea in here, and we have some sleepy time tea, which is great. But I just wanted another one of these. I tried it before, and I really liked it. So that's what we have. I picked up some, um, what are these? Some puddings. Alicia love pudding. So I picked up some um, cheese. I'm thinking some sandwiches this week for sure. We've been wanting some sandwiches, and we just picked up bread the other day from Whole Foods. So, why not make a sandwich? Um, we eat solids. Leash loves solids. So, like, I really want to try to incorporate them more inside of our diet. I'm not saying that I don't like solids. I do. But sometimes I just don't feel like eating a solid. But organic sprouted sea solid um, toppers. This is the garlic thyme. And these are raw. Go raw. That's what it says. Go raw. 
two grams of protein per serving, five simple ingredients, great taste and flavor, minimally processed. And yeah, um, I love that it's like that. It's pumpkin seeds inside of it and sprouted, sprouted pumpkin seeds and sprouted sunflower seeds, sea salt, thyme, and garlic. Basic ingredients. I love it. Especially, I don't feel like, you know, I could use my other um, plain um, sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds or any seeds that I have for something different versus um, using it for my salads. These are already seasoned, so it'll go well on a salad, which I like. Um, but you can easily do this for real, for real, for cheap, <laughs> at home. Uh, but it's basically about the convenience of it. That's what you're paying for. Um, I also picked up um, some instant oats. We have some apple cinnamon um, instant on the stove. But I was thinking about just picking up some plain oats. So basically, I can flavor everything how I would like um, versus having ingredients in it that I can't control. You know what I mean? Because I like to be in control of what I'm eating how I'm eating it, what I'm putting in it, in my body, you know what I mean? Um, as much as possible. I know it's not, you can't, because you can't control everything you eat, even with the things that we feel like we can. Um, it's always something, but do do what's best for you. I picked up these maple, I said maple, maple breakfast um, jack sausage. These are basically like jackfruit sausages. It does have soy inside here, but when I tell y'all, these are my favorite. Um, I love Jack and Annie's and I love um, like their um, chicken nuggets. I feel like they are the best. Like a lot of um, plant-based um, situations that you eat will have like aftertastes, especially like nuggets and such. You can't taste that when you eat in Jack and Annie's. And I love that because nobody feel like eating something with an aftertaste. Like, that's how you know it got the chemicals in it. That's how you know, like, something ain't right. And my body don't like it, so. So I also picked up some pumpkins. Um, this is, like, the Tiger Stripe pumpkin. I also picked up a little mini one. I just wanted to have some pumpkins because, like I see, I'm in, like, the autumn season. Um, I love this type of weather. I just don't like when it's all raining, like, today, but... It is what it is. A little smaller pumpkin than that. And then I got another one. And they pretty good. They, they cute. I even love the, the non-perfection right here. And I'm kind of like real iffy. And I was trying to pick ones that had the little stems right there. Like little curved stems. Should I pick the right ones? And this one was perfect. Look at that little baby. So cute. I already have one of these right here. So I'm like, this one is cool. This one is bigger, but this one is cool with a little itty bitty stem. You feel me? All right, we also have some organic cacao nibs. So I'm gonna basically replace this for all of those, like, what am I trying to say? Little, little, what's the thing called again? Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, the chocolate chips. Yes, but I'm basically gonna replace these for that. I know these are not that sweet. I know these not gonna be like crazy sweet. Um, but it's better for you, it's more clean, and that's all that matters. That's all I really care about, to be honest. Um, you'll get the sweetness from the cookie, cause I, and I, I'm gonna make probably like cookies with this. You, I'm gonna cook with it put it inside my chili or whatever I may make. Um, we also have some organic um, pig kamalata. Listen, K olives. K like my name, y'all. <laughs> Can't even pronounce it. Um, I tried these. I, I'm not even an olive fan, to be honest. Um, my mom loves olives. But I'm trying to get into things that are good for me, regardless of the taste. Um, that's just how I am. I kind of train myself to eat a certain way. Um, I know it's hard for some, but, you know, it's more mental over anything, I feel like. But some people just don't like it, so if you don't like it, just don't. But I plan on putting this on top of our pizza. Had that inside, olives inside of pasta before. It was bomb, y'all. Real bomb. 
are we also have some oyster mushrooms stay tuned for what i'm gonna be doing with those all right y'all it's gonna be real good all right and the last thing that we have that is for human consumption is this lemon pepper seasoning salt free out of lemon pepper and i love that it's salt free so yeah and i'm like i see it in the, my last video i'm in the process of basically replacing a lot of our seasonings because a lot of them have salt inside of them so i'm doing this new thing where like if it has salt inside of it i kind of don't want it depending on what it is depending on what it is because i'm not going to say everything with salt in it is bad but i can easily control um the salt versus using a seasoning that already has salt inside of it you know what i mean and then really liking it and can't even use as much as i want because the salt intake and just to control you know like it's too much going on out here you know um, high blood pressure, diabetes, like, you gotta be careful, you feel me? Um, y'all see me, I'm a chunk, girl, you know, like, for the big so girl. I'm trying to come down watch and I gotta basically, watch I gotta for the big girl. watch what I'm eating. Watch out for the big girl. My body does not watch like certain the... stuff. So, um, yeah, these are right here, this is for our dog, um, Ari. So we have some pumpkin pour over, so this is turkey with pumpkin stew. We trying to fix, like, what she's eating because she has some issues when she ate um what did she eat recently i picked her up something um it was from whole foods and it basically had lamb inside of it venison and beef and she was farting i know like french bulldogs dogs fart you know and especially frenchies like their smells are horrid do you smell it that smell the kind of smelly smell But at the same time, no, we gonna fix that. So we trying to see what we can do to fix that and um, get her better. Um, not that she's, you know, anything is wrong with her, but turkey and pumpkin squat, I picked up two of those. And then I picked up a turkey and salmon um, stew. All right, so those are the toppers for her food. We usually put like, Probably like blueberries, eggs, like something on top of our food as well. Depending on what fruits we have for that week or, you know what I mean? Um, and the last thing that we picked up, she's starting to look. <laughs> she already know the sounds. Anytime she hear something that sounds like a wrapper, literally looks up. But this one is um high protein dog food, balanced for all ages and breeds. Um, all right, so it's featuring flax seeds, coconut oil, pumpkin, and turmeric. This brand she had liked before, if I'm not mistaken, but I have to see. I have to see because I was cooking her food for a minute and then put her back on some of this, and then we got her some food um, delivered. So we just trying to see what works. But this is more fish than anything. Let me make sure because that was my plan. Yeah, fish. Yep. Simply see, that's why I picked it up because we trying to um, try her on like a more fish situation instead of like chicken and beef. Um, we haven't tried turkey so much yet, so that's why I picked that up. Um, but yeah, and, and basically that's all they had left, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I just didn't pick that chicken one up. But that's it. That's it. That's all I got. All right, but that is it. That's all I picked up in the store today. Um, yeah, just a little quick haul. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed what I picked up and stay tuned for the videos to come so that you can see what I create. Don't forget to follow and like, um, this video if you like it. Um, if you don't, that's okay as well. Let me know how I can improve or whatever you have in mind for me so I can do so. Cause I'm all about improvement and bettering myself however I can and I can learn from any and everybody you feel me um, each one teach one teach one each one whatever it is y'all y'all know exactly what I'm talking about but um, I'm gonna put this food up and I am actually going to make me something I might just eat some leftover um, tomato soup because we had that from last week and it needs to be eight right now um 
but I'm gonna put this up and I'll see y'all all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.